Hey everybody, I'm up here in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Um, my my wife and I are building a cabin up here. There's actually workers working on our cabin right now, but it's a little bit noisy there, so I, I, I walked down the road to make this video. I'm standing in front of one of the cabins that is for sale right now. Um, but just thinking about the process, you know, um, short-term rental investing 101, if you will. Um, you know, it, it's quite the process when I think about what we've went through in the last two years to get to the point we are now. And I think if you're if you're thinking about short-term rentals and investing in that way, you know, um, there's a lot of factors to it. Um, there's a lot of decisions to make, um, you know, and, and, and knowing that's the right thing for you. Um, you know, I talked to a lot of people when, 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 when I started getting the, the idea of this. You know, I, I talked to a lot of people um, in the Dallas area that have uh, rentals up in this Broken Bowl, Oklahoma area, talking to them, finding out what they've went through, finding out what they had to invest, finding out um, how profitable is it for them, you know. Um, you know, the good news is I did not talk to one single person that regretted the decision. I didn't talk to anybody that, uh, you know, was not making money on their property. Uh, most of them were some pretty pretty incredible numbers. But, you know, it's not going to be that way every year for every person, depending on what you invest, um, you know, how much you invest, uh, what your expectations are and all that. But, but it all starts with <laughs> doing your research, and getting committed to the idea, um, you know, and and there's different ways to do it. Some people will buy a cabin that's completely finished like this, and they can start renting on day one. Uh, my wife and I, we bought land first, um, then you know um, worked on cabin designs with the lumber local lumber company Bailey's Lumber here, and then started interviewing different builders and saying this is kind of our design we want. What's the what's the approximate cost to build it? And got quotes and and reviews from those builders and decided you know which which was the best row for us but um you know there's no right or wrong it's just a person's budget and their expectations and all that but it, i mean to me it starts with a commitment that this is what you want to do with your investment money you some the people every person owns a cabin this is a little subdivision called cedar hills probably i don't know 30 30 to 40 cabins is a little subdivision you know every person here made a very sizable investment. I, we are paying way more for this cabin than we do for the house that we live in in McKinney, Texas. Um, you know, very sizable investment. And, and ours is only a two bedroom, two bath, or some of these are huge. But everybody up here could have left money in stocks and an IRA and a 401k, um, you know, invested in crypto, whatever. Uh, thank God they didn't. Um, you know, but it, it comes with that commitment, that decision. Myself, for, for, for us to get started, we bought the land first. I, I, I looked, I asked on message boards for a good realtor to work with. We, we found a realtor we were comfortable working with. Her, her name is Joy Thompson. And, uh, you know, got talking to her about the options up here. We came up and looked at several communities where there was lots available. We chose this one, um, Cedar Hills. Um, but in order to buy that lot, um, I didn't want a loan. I, land loans are a little bit different than, than, than normal real estate loans. Um, I didn't want to take a loan. I had an IRA from my days in the corporate world that really was not performing that well. I was not happy with the money I was making. Um, whatever. So I made the decision to cash out that IRA to completely pay for that lot up front and not have any loan on that, on that lot. And then knowing that I most likely could use the value of the lot as my down payment with a construction loan to build the cabin, which is what worked out for us. But, you know, it, I'm just saying it starts with commitment. Do your research. Make sure this is what you want to do. But everybody here made a very sizable financial commitment, you know, and it's scary. It's scary. Like I said, this is the biggest loan I've ever taken, but I know darn well there's some good things to come from it once this cabin is done and we'll have a place we can, we can come on vacation to. Um, but yeah, I mean, to me, real estate investing 101 um, for short-term rentals, <laughs> do your research, get hooked up with a good realtor that really knows the area, and 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 take it from there. I'll have a follow-up one to this with some thoughts, and uh, please subscribe to this channel. Um, I'm going to try to do more things about investing, um, short-term rentals, long-term rentals. Um, I do own a long-term rental in Sherman, Texas, um, so I, I, I know a lot about that area. I did my research in that area, too, but, uh, um, you know, this Broken Bow area is so relaxing. I forgot how nice it is in the evening to have places that are pretty much completely dark, and very quiet except for a little noise from the cabins and and some coyotes now and then but um so relaxing up here if you've never been to broken bow um i think it's the number four short-term rental destination in the united states right in the top four i'm not sure where it ranks in the four but um amazing area up here growing like crazy there's still a ton of short-term rental opportunity up here so you got questions give me a call i'll hook you up with my realtor and you have a good day